Once upon a time, in a distant and magical kingdom, there lived a young serving boy named Chauncey. <laughs> please, please, continue, Chancellor! <laughs> so there we are. The delegation from Borgo on one side, the congregation from Shmu on the other. Now, the high priestess of Shmu, as you know, considers herself to be so beautiful as to entrance all her devotees. <laughs> now has the appearance of a large, drowning rodent. <laughs> she, having been bathed in wine at the hands of the Borgonian ambassador's wife. <laughs> The words that spewed forth from this saintly maiden's mouth were of sort as to make the most hardened warrior's ears to burn. <laughs> On hearing this, the ambassador, who's had too much wine to drink, springs forth, dagger in hand, onto the table to defend the honor of his betrothal. The king is the king is the king is in the middle of a kidney pie. <laughs> Your Majesty slips. Your Majesty his dagger to the king. The boy is attacking the king. God, God. <laughs> Your Majesty! You dare attack the king? No! For this, I will see you die slowly. No! Nonsense! The lad saved my life! What is your name, boy? Uh, Chauncey, sir, M my lord, your, your highness, sir. And where do you hail from? Well, I, I have no home, sire. I, I was... Raised by a kind herd of wild cows. Cows? Ah, well, <clears throat> from this day forward, you are Sir Chauncey. I dub thee Knight of the Realm and grant you vast tracts of land in the Shinto Plains, along with the use of my mighty sword, Grim Thwacker. <laughs> it served me well in defending the kingdom from the evil. Insatiable, terrifying horde. Horde? Games at Brains are having life here with another episode of the Flashback series. We are going to the Sega Saturn for one of the more unique and I, I almost was going to say cult classics, but it's not. No. The people that like this game are the weird people. <laughs> yeah. The Horde is a hybrid action strategy video game that was originally released on the 3DL platform, but was actually ported to the Sega Saturn and MS-DOS. Yeah, wasn't it even... Uh, wasn't it even a Sega Saturn original? Wow. It's a hybrid of action and strategy games, and it also featured full motion video sequences featuring a number of actors, including Kirk Cameron as Chauncey <laughs> and Michael Gregory as Cronus. Uh, video sequences, did you know this? Well, video sequences were reduced to slideshows, but with sound in some versions. Wow. So the one cool thing about the Horde wasn't even actually in some versions, because the FMVs were one of the cool things. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And um, take that out. And it's like, oh, now it's just a shit game. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. As you can tell, not a fan of this. But there are things I like. Mm. But I'll let you tell some of the things, you say some of the things you like. Uh, well, I mean, I've got Andy, the story and the cut things. I, I, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm clashing at straws here. Yeah. But 
I, I actually enjoyed the literally the, open, the opening scene of the game, literally where you got the servant boy Chancey saving the king from choking. Yeah, I actually thought I found that entertaining and quite yeah. funny, you know. But um, I mean, I do agree with you. I will add to that that one of the things I would say like is the FMV videos. Yeah. Uh, they were cool for the time. Weirdly, because it's funny to look back at the time. It was like, oh, the Sega Saturn is so powerful. Yeah. And only now, later, do you find out, oh, it was a 3DO game. So it wasn't even like using the Saturn's proper power. Yeah, you that's, know? that's very disappointing. Yeah. Mm. So it isn't even that fucking no. good for a Sega Saturn game. Nope. Weather wizards have still been unable to squeeze a single drop of rain out of the blistering hot sky. Crop yields are expected to drop considerably. When asked to comment, High Chancellor Maylar said, Well, at least it's a dry heat. I have given orders to my army to destroy the village. Oh, tall, handsome, and merciless knight, please don't destroy the village. I'll do anything. Anything? Anything. Even the frenzied cavorting of Shmoo? Yes, even that. Especially that. <laughs> <laughs> Chancellor, <laughs> I'm not interrupting something important, am I? Why no? <clears throat> Why no? The great Sir Chauncey, uh, the king has ordered me to give you this deed to the Karniar Desert, home of the desert Amazons. You'll love it there, boy. Uh, what else do you like? Probably the next one I would say uh, the buildings. Yes, I suppose, I mean, uh, building traps, uh, you know. Building buildings, that, that defending it. I sort of had. I'm, I'm gonna go probably get shot down here. A command and conquer. Really, <laughs> really fucking did it. Really fucking did it. With like weird, weird horde, horde creatures. And we want traps. when we got this game, we wanted, we wanted it yeah. to be like command and conquer. And it. I will say that I do appreciate the strategy. One of the things I like is that the strategy side of the game is always, always appealed. It's not enough. Not even close. I in in that sense, which. Have you got anything more, any more that you like? That's, that's it. <laughs> cool, because we'll go straight into things I don't like. Yep. And I'm going to say this. The fact that the strategy ultimately is pointless. I'm fucking thing. Two minutes is all you get for the build phase before you have to defend yourself against the fucking hordlings coming. Yep. Two minutes. There's, that's not, that's, that just removes all the fun of a strategy game out. If it was a simple idea of, right, okay... Here's your funds. You've got to spend them how you wisely, and then defend. And yep. then, if you defend well and don't like lose lots of buildings, the next season or whatever, you would then have more money yep. to then build. That would be fine. But the fact is, like, no, you got two minutes. It's like, oh, fucking can't do anything in that time. Yeah. Really don't like. I don't like being put on a timer. Yeah. One of the hardest games I've ever played. Simple as that. Yeah, I agree. I said it. I've got that too. I mean, literally, it's so easy to get game over. Mm-hmm. It, 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 it's, it's actually it's actually quite ridiculous. I mean, literally, you could have the the massive massive I don't know base or, or homeland, and it's game over. Yep. Yeah. Once they're through your traps, 
and you get stunned, knocked out, whatever. Fair. In fact, uh, I, off the top of my head, without having played this in years, I can name three ways you can get a game over. One, hordes, hordling, hordlings, horde, wipe out your village. Yep. Two, Chauncey gets killed. Three, don't pay your taxes. Wicked. Yep. And I'm pretty sure, if, if I remember properly, uh, I think you're going to take three hits before you get killed. That's it. And my last thing I don't like tying into that was simply, I never made it past the first season. And I realise that's a major reason why I don't like the game. And I imagine if I played it now, I might be able to make it further. But I don't want to play this again. Mm. I just don't. You know, it's simple as that. I'm not seeking out a Sega Saturn so I can replay that classic game, The Horde. You know, better off getting a 3DO instead. Um, yeah, there, there's not a lot to say about The Horde. It's not a great, in my opinion, it's not a good game. Um, it's memorable purely for the FMVs. Um, so when it comes to favourite moment scenes and bits of music, do you know what I wrote? None. <laughs> Nothing. Have you got anything there? No, no. I mean, what can I really say? I mean, this game, it really is probably just a part of our history. You know, I think it we, is. We grew up in this, we, we grew up in these type of games. And I suppose it's more like a sentimental game, I suppose. Nostalgia blinds you a little on this one, right? Nostalgia, yeah. Yeah, because we we always we always we've always in the 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 circles of GBH Bell and Brothers and stuff like that considered you a fan of this game. Yeah. But I don't think it's necessarily like you're a fan of it because you recognise the issues, but more the fact that you were certainly the one that liked it, whereas none of us did. Yeah. And that still sticks, I guess. Yeah, but then obviously my type of games compared to the rest of you guys' games is completely different. You know. That's some elitism right there. My type of games, yeah. Well, yeah. The Horde sucks. It's as simple as that. Don't enjoy it. That's why this flashback is super fucking short. There's next to nothing we can really say about it. I have very little to add because I barely made it in, made, made it into the game. And don't get me wrong though, I probably replayed that first season a hundred times. Oh, you know, so I did try. Just wasn't very good at it. There you go. That's the Horde. Thank you very much for watching. You can check us out on GBHBell.com as well as on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and Tumblr. Go to Patreon to help us out over there. That's patreon.com forward slash GBHBL as well as Big Cartel where you can find some of our merchandise. We have a podcast running on SoundCloud and Apple Podcasts. And of course, if you like this video, do us a favour, hit the subscribe button and help the channel grow. Games, horror and heavy metal. What else is life for?